Third grade. Who's ready for some art? You are? Okay. Well, <laughs> good thing I'm here. Hey guys, Mr. Michael here again with another five minute demo for you. Today, what I'm going to want you to do is I'm going to want you to redesign the Colorado flag. Now, I love our flag. It's awesome. I really would never want to change it. But if someone ever came to me and said, Mr. Michael, we need to redesign the flag. What could you come up with for us? came up with an idea today that I think would look really cool. Now, we're also going to use a concept called minimalism because we're not making a picture, but we're making a flag. Are you ready? Let's go. So here is my redesign of the Colorado flag. You will notice I didn't stray too far from the original. That doesn't mean you can't, but there's stuff I like about our flag that I wanted to keep there, but again, this is a project to redesign it, so I did make a few changes. In our real Colorado flag, we do have those two blue stripes, the one at the top and the bottom, all right, and then the white down the middle. And remember, the blue is meant to represent the sky. The white was the snow. And then the C is usually red, meant to, repre meant to represent the red mountains that the first explorers saw here, the red dirt mountains. All right. I changed mine to orange. Hmm. I wonder why Mr. Michael would do that. Do you know? <laughs> I bet you do. And then the little circle in the middle, the yellow circle is meant to represent the sun because there's a lot of sun here. We have more days that are sunny than are not. But I still wanted to represent the mountains because they're a very big, important part. And since I don't have red, I just made this very simple outline or block color of mountains. And then in Colorado, we have like the plains where it's all flat. So that's why I kind of left that open over there. Now, remember how I said we're going to use something called minimalism, all right? We're not making a picture. If you look at my mountains, you will notice I didn't put snow, the snow caps on there. I didn't put trees. You know, I didn't put like the Denver skyscrapers there. I didn't put clouds in my mountains. I didn't put little rays um, of sunshine coming off my little yellow circle there. We've got to keep it simple, all right? That's what catches an eye for a flag. That's what people are looking for. Something that can be made real simple, copied easy. That's what we're going for, minimalism. So I'm not looking for a great big awesome picture, as awesome that would be. That wouldn't make a good flag, all right? Keep it simple. Keep things to a minimum. Remember, minimum means you're using as a little as possible, all right? That's how we get minimalism, art using as little as possible, all right? I'm not going to have tons of colors on here because that just pulls away from your eye and you don't want to look at it. My main focus of my flag is in the middle. Try to get yours in the middle there. What do you think of when you think about Colorado? How is that going to influence how you make your flag? Do you do stuff outdoors? Do you do stuff indoors? What are some of your favorite things to do in Colorado? Again, like I said, what comes to your mind when you think about Colorado and how will you put that into your flag? So how did flag redesign go? I bet they look pretty awesome. And remember guys, just because mine kind of stayed close to what our flag really looks like, that doesn't mean yours has to. Maybe you have a totally different color scheme. Like I said, it's what you think about when you think about Colorado. How are you going to transfer that to a flag? And remember, minimalism. How are you going to do it using as few colors, few things as possible? Guys, I would love to see those flags. So please, if you could, take some pictures or have mom and dad take some pictures. And please email them to me. You know my email address is at the end of the video here. My friends, it was really good to see you. I miss you. You guys take care. Keep an eye out for another five-minute demo next week. And until next time, adios, amigos.